And based off the hair that's on the floor, right, I can tell who comes over. Oh. I can tell if my housemate brings home a girl, okay? Hi, I'm Natasha and I moved out when I was 23 years old. My name is Chow and I moved out when I was 24. I'm currently staying in a cluster apartment. There are nine units in this entire apartment. So think of it as a very tiny condo with no facilities. For me, I'm staying in a private apartment, also very small. If I'm not wrong, there's like 15 or 16 units, five floors, that's it. Today, we're going to be sharing more about our experience moving out in our early 20s. Would you like to take the first ball? Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Why did you decide to move out? Well... <laughs> the first question and you have to hit so deep. <laughs> I know, right? Of Back then when I was living together with my family, um, my mom and I usually kind of clash a lot. There came like a point where my mom and I were really, really not speaking to each other. Right. And she was like, maybe it might be good for you to find your own place and you know to live by yourself outside. Wow. And I guess in the heat of the moment, I was like, fine, you know, I'll do it. I'll move out. And I told her, I said, I found a place, put the deposit. I'm moving out in two to three weeks. I think uh, in Singapore, we're very used to just growing up in our family home, but not all homes are the same, so I grew up in quite a volatile family environment and I knew that I needed to create this space for myself in order to feel lighter, to feel healthier and to put myself in a better headspace. But it makes a lot of difference just being able to have somewhere that you feel comfortable and safe in at the end of the day. Alright, next one. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> What were your family's reactions when you moved out? When I told her that I signed the lease and the security deposit was placed, she was like, can you not move out? Oh wow. Yeah, I'm someone who's like quite strong-headed. Uh, and I would say I'm stubborn, I'm a Taurus. <laughs> so I guess that contributes as well. So I was like, since you asked me to move out, I'm going to move out. And there's no turning back after that. So they were quite upset. I kind of like cleared that up. I said, no, this is really for myself. I, I need some space from you guys and I hope that, you know, you will respect that. Yeah. I would say my parents are still quite traditional in their mindsets. They did take me moving out a bit personally in that they felt like they couldn't, I guess, give me a place that I wanted to stay in. It was a choice I made for myself to feel better. Okay. Do we get a sweet? No, we get a question. I was hoping for a smoke. How do you cope financially? How to cope financially is to be very prudent with your money and budget properly, know your expenses and know how much of your income is going towards different expenses. When I first started renting, I looked for housemates. To give you a benchmark, I think a room can go anywhere from 1.5 to 1.8 and then my entire apartment now with three bedrooms is 2.5. So do the math, it really does help out a lot with housemates. For me, I'm quite lucky. It is a one bedder and a plus like small study room. The whole place got me at 1.8. Ooh, that's yeah. a good price. But that price is not reflective of the current market right now. What's the most unexpected habit you have adopted after moving out? I have one. Cleaning. <laughs> I clean a lot now. Now that I'm staying by myself, my personal space is everywhere. So I clean a lot. Unexpected because I just never really experienced the urge to uh, clean so much mm. spaces before. Yeah. Now, when girls especially come to my house, I will have a vacuum on standby. I'm not kidding and when I'm having like dinner, you know, and I see them do this and I see the hair drop onto the floor, I will be like, wait, and I'll take the vacuum and I'll vacuum the hair up. I'm so sorry, but that's like, it's like, it's like kind of <laughs> gross. I don't know if it's a habit, but yeah, cleaning became 
a really huge part of like okay like my habit now is and based off the hair that's on the floor right i can tell who comes over oh i can tell if my housemate brings home a girl okay <laughs> What's an annoying habit that your housemates have? I think I'm lucky that um, my housemates are also people who were close friends and that the friendship has not changed. I've come to realise that their standards for cleanliness are a lot lower than mine. It's a me problem because I expect more, right? So then I just clean it, lah, you know? To have a healthy housemate relationship, pay your rent on time, especially if your friend is like the master tenant paying for everybody. Have clear communication. One time when there was unhappiness amongst the between us over certain things, what we did was we just sat down at the dining table and we had a two hour conversation. That was the most serious conversation we've ever had. And we cleared up the air about the different things and then we moved on from there. And this is just key to maintaining good relationships. Do you prefer to eat out or cook at home? For health reasons, I do prefer to eat at home. Te usually with a friend, you tend to order quite a bit, you know, like you want to share and try some stuff, so the bill really like gets pretty high. Recently, the government gave out um, CDC vouchers, mm -hmm. so I had the full $300 to myself. Okay. So you have $150 for grocery shopping and you have $150 for a hawker centre. And I actually just used it over the weekend, so I bought roast meat noodles or something like that. It's right. like six fifty. But then I use the C D C voucher and I use the five dollar. So that means I have to top up like a dollar fifty. Right. To me right. it felt like I'm eating a dollar fifty bowl of noodles which is which is crazy. Yeah, it's like someone treat your meal. We've really been using those C D C vouchers, but fun fact, they're also going to be available again next year. My grocery expenditure isn't particularly high, but um I Usually just opt for the most affordable alternatives. Really like if the bag says budget on it, right? I'm picking it up. <laughs> like, yeah, my favorite section the is budget. The, the budget or the sales section. The eating. clearing. Like the clearing it. section. Yeah, my I love favorite. it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you ever regretted moving out? No. For now. Oh for now, there's for a now. there's a for now, why? So for now, I guess I'm young, I can make these decisions, I don't have any liabilities. Um, I have cats. Hey, same! Two cats, <laughs> I have two cats to pay for. Uh, but in terms of like the life experiences that I gain from moving out, I don't regret that. Financially, maybe, so yes and no. I do not regret a second of my life, I've never regretted. It has made my life so much more worth living. Alright. Hello. <gasps> you got the M&M's! Yes. Oh my god! I was looking at this from the start. I wanted the M&M's! <laughs> In three sentences, tell us three tips on saving costs. I've got one tip. And when you are shopping for food, look for house brands. House brands are usually priced a, a little bit more affordably. And the quality of the food, right, I can guarantee you is still top notch for vegetables, opt for cheaper or more leafy vegetables. They have this thing where it's like three types of vegetables for only $2. And they're pretty good. I mean, if you go earlier in the day, you can get quite fresh ones. Groceries can really add up if you're not yet cautious of what you spend. When you need to buy things, make a list. Don't buy it immediately. Sit on it for a while and you will know whether or not you really need it. And if you still want it, Wait for a sale. We're living in a strange age where every month we get a 11223344557 sale. So you might as well use that to your benefit. What would you recommend to people who want to move out but are afraid of taking that step? I really enjoyed the property hunt process. I think if you're considering right, there's no harm looking. And you don't you don't have to commit to anything there and then, but at least you know what the space is like, what the market is like and what sort of prices are generally given in the market at the moment. You know, there's this saying like, know what you're getting yourself into. Mm -hmm. Trust me, when you move out, right, you don't know. You don't know what you're getting yourself into un until you are really inside. When you first move out, you're like, oh, I just have to pay rent. No, you don't. You have to pay two months of deposit. You have to pay stamp duty. You have to pay for agent fees if there is. And where's all this money going to come from? This, like, I guess, capital. It's going to be from your savings. Have a good amount of 
saving set aside. Yeah. For example, if, if I really like lose my job, right, at least I have savings to save me from this like whatever issue that I'm gonna you know, happen in the future. Yeah. I mean, it is a bit unpredictable what's going to happen next. It's just being careful. Mm. So how was the experience? Interesting. Interesting. Interesting to see what people are curious about and interesting to see the perspectives that people have about moving out. Especially in Singapore, where it's not exactly convention at the moment. I would say living alone in, in Singapore or live, moving out, right? Or renting is a very uh, sensitive topic. These kinds of comments from Singaporeans kind of like makes me also rethink about my intentions for moving out and whether it's like, oh, am I a bad daughter for, for right. moving out and neglecting my family? Right. I have looked at these comments, people saying that uh, I'm, why did I do certain things? Like, why did I move out? Why did I buy a house? That sort of thing. And my response to that, right, is really just, I feel happy for them that they didn't need to experience something that has put them in a desperate position, desperate enough for them to need to spend so much money to do a certain thing. If you never needed to experience that desperation, right? I'm I'm really happy for you. Yeah. Thank you for watching for real. For real. If you want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye. You like it? I love it. You love house brands too? Meadows. Yeah, Meadows, my dude. I'm looking at you. <laughs> Okay, Eraser Fight. I've never played Eraser Fight. Oh my god, what primary school are you from? How can you not play Eraser Fight? Teach <laughs> 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 you need to teach your girls how to play Eraser Fight.